Okay, everyone, so I've decided we're gonna defend Callum, only because it seems kind of... I don't know. I don't like these options. We either have to defend him or accuse him. I want to take a middle ground, but there really isn't one, so... I want to take a non-aggressive stance, so we'll just defend him, I guess. Of course he wasn't planning to kill us. It wouldn't make any sense. He's outnumbered. With two on one, it would be much too likely for one of us to defeat him or escape. If Callum wanted to cover his tracks that way, the smart thing to do would have been to leave Oscar in the castle. Then he could kill Dolores, then kill me, then hide the bodies, and Oscar and Cassidy would never know what happened. I pause, realizing that everyone is staring at me. Callum raises his eyebrows like, actually, that would have been a good plan. <laughs> what? Sometimes your mind works in strange ways. I find her logic refreshing. What were you planning to do with us, then, if Cassidy were Caspian and everything went as you planned? None of this is what I planned. Ever since that creature put a stick in the wheel. What wheel? It's an expression. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, forgive me, my lord. My years of letters must have slipped my mind again. There is another question. What would you have done with Caspian if she had been him? Done? Whatever he wanted. I wanted to tell him about everything he'd missed growing up and help him find his own life again. Help him get out of the palace, or prepare him to confront our parents if he wanted. It doesn't matter now. No, it doesn't. We'll go home. We will talk to mother and father. This time, they can't brush you aside. I won't let them. I will make them explain what they've done. So you see, it will be alright. Only, could I have some water and something to eat? Of course. You didn't feed her. What was I supposed to feed her with? I didn't bring your royal kitchen. What did you eat? She laughs at me. I weren't hungry. I was going to be rich if I were light on my feet. <laughs> if I made it, I could eat anything I wanted. If I didn't, well, it wouldn't matter, would it? No, it won't. Oscar, in the meantime, is still looking at Cassidy. What happened to your shoes? Oh, Oscar, you're always worrying about the silly things. <laughs> I think they're still in the palace. If she went through those tunnels without shoes, we need to wash her feet before any scratches turn foul. Good job, Dolores. I don't mean to be trouble. Well, you're not the troubled one. You aren't. Let's get back to the water. There's nothing more we can do here. We have, after all, succeeded in our quest. The princess is saved and we are heroes. All is well. That ends well. Ew, chapter four. Uh-oh. The betrayal. <laughs> that bodes well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How promising. I know. After we reach our Spoilers. earlier campsite, I know, uh, the princess rolls down her silk stockings and bathes her feet in the cool water of the stream while Oscar hunts for something suitable to feed her. He eventually settles on more asparagus and a few wild berries. Except for our surly captive, the scene is peaceful and pleasant. Oscar's fondness for plants and sunlight has led me to spend many days in surroundings such as these, watching him enjoy himself. I know the powers of Gwilinor must be in great turmoil after our disappearances, and we ought to return as soon as possible, and yet, no one seems compelled to hurry. Oh, there's dilly-dallying out in this weather. What are those called? Branching Asphodel. I don't know what that is. Asphodel, what a pretty name. Then she blinks at a glimpse of fast-moving color overhead. That's a peacock butterfly. Oh. Oscar seems to be taking to her <laughs> rather well now. Yeah. I know every contour of my country from the maps I've studied, but it looks so different to see it for myself. While those two explore the local wildlife, Callum stands alone, his eyes on the rippling reflections that cross the surface of the stream. What will our return mean to him? He'll have to confront his family again while still bearing the painful memories of his last attempt to reach out to his sister. He is no longer a helpless child, and the king would find it difficult to thrash him even if he were so inclined. Still, challenging those who have held power over you all your life is never an easy task. And then, there is the person who is least enthusiastic about returning. Hey, how about you just let me go? How about no? <laughs> you got your princess and your gold and I got nothing, so it's no harm done, right? No harm done. Not a chance. I got nothing against you lot. Untie me and I'll get gone. You'll never see me again. 
That's why you're staying tied. Soil's breath. Do you know what they'll do to me? Traitors hanged. <laughs> Maybe you should have thought of that before turning on your masters. You didn't do nothing you didn't do first, and them's your own family too. You carried off your sister, you plucked your own treasury, you cost the little prince, you lied to him and her both. You half choked the life out of me. Well, that's not a bad thing. And you call me a criminal? Come on, Lady Valois, do you really trust him not to drop us both if he has the chance? It's my life on the line, let me go. You have no right to talk about lies after the games you played with me. What games? Oh, she didn't tell you? Nobody tells you anything, do they, little prince? Your girl bribed me to break her into Noble's rooms. Maybe she's a thief, huh? Paid me with this pretty little amber necklace, too. Uh-oh. What? Let me go and I'll tell you what she said about you. I'm not listening to you. No one cares to hear anything more from you. Oh, no. Funny that. I thought you wanted to know what was going on in your palace behind your back. I see things you hadn't. You or your sister neither. I can tell you all about them. That duke and his lady Sophie, for instance. <laughs> Do you know what they're plotting? Oh no, it's Farad. Cousin Sophia, what about her? She doesn't know anything. I do, and I can tell you if you let me go. Or maybe you'd rather ask your Valois girl. She and Duke Farad got mighty cozy in his rooms. Oh, this No, we didn't. Bitch. I wish. What? The word of a known liar is meaningless. At least Prince Callum <laughs> seems to have his head on straight with this girl. Uh-huh. Ask your own questions, you'll see. I'm not the one telling lies. I've played you fair. I've kept my promises. Um, you're full of it. <laughs> and what of your oath to serve? Oh, that. Look, do any of you really want to go back to that palace? Yes. You set foot inside and you'll be trapped. They'll never let you see the sun again, princess. And you, Prince Criminal, you think they'll forgive you for what you've done? You've got your freedom and your wits and a good sum of coin. You can start a new life altogether. Those words hold a truth she does not. Could, uh, whoa. Those <laughs> words hold a truth she does not, could not know. With such a sum of gold as that, I could buy land, a house, connections, enough to outfit and support myself while I built my place in society, enough even to make investments to sustain my position for the future. It is not, of course, enough to establish me as anything other than what I am, a gentlewoman of low rank, respectable perhaps, but not among the highest circles. And yet, it would be sufficient to grant me what I have never had, an estate of my own, an estate that I could offer to share with another. Such as? It would not be the prestigious match that the rulers of Sendawir wish for their son. Yet, if I were in control of my fate, if Oscar's affections were more than a passing fancy, if we were sure, it might be enough. But that would only be the case if the funds were mine, mine in total and in truth, and they are not. Aww. Some of us have a concept of honor. <laughs> You, sir, have no honor. Come on, do you want to be nothing but what you are forever? This is your chance. Come with me, any of you. I'll see you straight. Yeah, I'm sure you will. That is enough. <laughs> with a discarded bit of silk, he gags Dolores, ignoring nipped fingers and frantic squawking. Wow, squawking, huh? We, we probably should start on our way back. If you've rested enough. I'll be fine. You can lean on me if your feet hurt. I will assist her. We all will. <laughs> Classic. Alright, so we'll leave off here, and we'll have to find out about that betrayal at the palace next time. See you then. Later, everyone.